Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin, and today we're trying to fit in a project before a hurricane hits. It's a tea light candle holder. It has a tea light in it and it stores tea lights. So we're gonna try to make the other two. Hopefully we can make them fast. Let's go. It has uh, degraded significantly since we started setting up. We cut one by 12 pine to length for our tall and medium candle holders. The first thing we're gonna make is the outside edge. We're gonna make six of these and glue them together to make up the outer perimeter. So this is the fancy part? This is the fancy part. Last time I cut this, getting this width the same every single time was kind of hard. So what I thought of this time is I'm gonna... So this time I'm gonna use this off cut and the fence to set the width. And before I cut, I'll pull out the offset and then run it through. So I just made a cut. In order to get the next cut at the right angle, I'm gonna flip it, put this back in place, and now we're gonna go again. Yeah, that's super goofy. So you'll notice that there's different lengths of pieces. We just cut down the three long lengths. Now we're gonna cut the three short lengths. Before we cut them on the table saw, we're gonna cut them down to length on the miter saw. Quick detour. I don't like this. I'm gonna improve it. Do you wanna tell the people what that <coughs> what that thing is? There's a miter sled. The miter gauge wasn't wide enough now that our piece of wood is smaller. So I wanna add an ex <laughs> I wanna add an extension right here, but there's no way to attach things from the back. So wobbly. I think we might need the sled. I don't know why I made this so tall. And I can't put a clamp here. We're gonna cut it down with the jigsaw? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Alamo. So this is actually even better. This is the best setup. You can just push it up and slide it through. You have to build a sled. Sorry. Don't judge the sled. It's a really shitty sled. You can't say that. It's a really subpar sled. Subpar. The other S word. This perfect match, right? Yeah. This, not a perfect match. What? That's significantly off. The tapers. Our original jig, like does it taper? That guy? Something is not square here. <laughs> Your face is so big in the screen. Whole thing's gonna taper, it's fancy like that. They can't sit next to each other. Fancy, fancy, I we're going. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so we're taking this leftover piece of wood. We're gonna trace this to make the bottom of the candle holder. It was hard to get clean cuts on the bandsaw, so we used the table saw instead. Yeah, that's flush. Girl, that's flush. Girl, you flush. It might be easier to cut the angle before we clamp it up. So we're measuring the angle of the first one we made. You look great. It's about 25 degrees-ish. I'm not really sure how I did it last time. Um, Carefully. This is what we won't be able to do on the other one. Yeah, if you do this, make the cut before you glue on the base. Or you don't have to make the cut. It works without the cut. Yeah. It's just cool. Now we wait. Oh no. To get stuck? Oh, this one, the tapers as it goes down. Like the space inside. Oh my gosh. This one was tilted the right, right way. 
Oh no, that won't fit there. What do we do? Start over. This one we can use kind of, but the, the, the storage thing doesn't work because it tapers. Mm. And this one doesn't fit at all. It could be sand it, flat yeah. sander. Dremel. Yeah, let's, let's get a Dremel. And let's just open it up. That's off this one. What about this guy? This one we just don't show the bottom. We've already recorded that. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get real. This one, because everything tapered, the candle doesn't fit up here. So we're gonna dremel it until it does fit. This one tapers the other way. Candle fits here, it doesn't fit in here. If we were doing this project correctly, we would just redo it, but we're not gonna do that. So this one just won't be storage. It'll just be a candle holder. Yep. And that's it. We can store one candle at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's just, we'll just do it. Let's do it. So ugly. Don't put it next to the pretty one. <laughs> oh man. It's good. It's stuck. <laughs> you don't even need to put the pins in. It's already a shelf. This is terrible. This might be an example of great idea, poorly executed. That looks pretty good right there, right? That looks pretty good. Let's just cut that one on the bandsaw. I'm gonna try to re-add sharp corners. <gasps> Okay. Look at these versus these. It's better than my idea of just chopping the whole thing off. I'm not sure if I'm proud, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> Can you get the flap sander? Yeah, where is it? That looks pretty good. That does look pretty good. Oh my gosh. So I could do one of these or two of these. We decided to put two brass rods through the top to act as a shelf for the candle. Oh. We've done good work here. I mean, we've done bad work too, but we've done good work. <laughs> I've learned anything about woodworking, it's that you can hide any mistakes with putty and sanding. Do you want to switch back to a wider shot? <laughs> Sorry. Evan just told me I look crazy when I'm working because I go like this. <laughs> <laughs> This one's got like the janky inside, so I'm trying yeah. to look past it. It's windy. We're gonna use shellac to finish these because it's easy. We need an easy win. We're actually gonna let it dry inside because it's super humid and shellac doesn't dry well in humidity. Oh my gosh, how many times? I'm getting it. Ooh. Are we doing more than one coat? Well, we'll see. It's been a long project already, so. All right, let's go. Things are fine. We're, we're still gonna beat the hurricane. Let's wrap it up. Shellac kind of raises the grain. We sand it with 600 grit sandpaper really lightly after That's each all coat. Needs. Yeah. Man. Pretty close to garage work. Pretty crazy. It's like right. really crazy. The clouds are blowing so fast. It feels like pretty even with these. I don't know if we need a second coat. Should we film an outro now? So I know we ran into a lot of issues in this build, but I hope it all makes sense and hope we learned some lessons along the way. Hope you learned some lessons. <laughs> hope we learned some lessons along the way. <laughs> hope everyone learned some lessons. <laughs> Don't, well one, keep everything straight. Two, I don't know, I'm done. <laughs> I think these turned out really cool. I think it's awesome that they actually do store tea lights. So you, you know, you have a place to store your extras. I don't know if we would ever make them again. <laughs> no, they were a labor of love and I really like how they turned out. I love how they turned out. In our defense, we were sort of in a rush because there is a hurricane coming, but yep. we could lose power any minute. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of good that we made candle holders. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we filmed all of this project before Hurricane Harvey hit land. 
and it was a bit lighthearted, and we didn't want to come across and finish it on that tone because we want to be real with you guys. It has been tough for us and a lot of people in Houston. I and mean, you can see our street is... It's a river. It, yeah, it's a river, um, and we're stranded here. But I think that the response from the community, I mean, everyone pulling together and helping each other out, we're really proud of Houston and the people that live here for, for I don't know, stepping up the challenge. We'll link to some resources below if you want to donate, if you want to help out Houston, and um, we'll just keep on going. That's all we can do. See you next time. See you next time.